and welcome to your go market update for today friday the 21st of october we are going to show you around what's happening in markets now it's mike smith senior analyst of go markets here let's have a look at the news today of course overnight we saw u.s equities finish mildly lower they were up early in the session but paired those early gains to finish around about 0.5 to 0.6 percent down depending on the index you're looking at some market concerns remain obviously relating to inflation bond yields are still relatively high and we are in the early stages of earnings season of course although the numbers coming across are okay things really ramp up next week so just a little bit of caution perhaps going on at the moment and still up for the week of course u.s futures are mixed in asian trading with the ndx underperforming uh, and asian indices are trading lower following that weaker u.s lead the asx is down around 0.7 percent at this stage European equity futures are also pointing to a lower open, but there is a few hours till market open in Europe, so that may change to some degree. The US dollar index edged higher in the FX world, and we're seeing some follow through in Asia. Although FX pairs are pretty flat today, uh, there's a couple that may have the potential to move, but it could be later on in the session today. Gold has broken 1650 support and is at monthly lows testing a new support level at around about 1620 oil trades near neutral at this stage in a short-term range and copper futures bounced off support which was at three week lows the vix is still holding above 30 just reinforcing that market concern that exists bitcoin is lower again edging ever so closer to that 18600 support but doesn't look as though there's a momentum to breach it at this stage and we had cooler than expected japanese cpi out which didn't really move the yen much, to be honest. We've got UK retail sales out later on a quiet day today. On the earnings front in the US, usually Friday is a bit quieter than today is, but we've got Verizon, American Express and Schlumberger are the earnings highlights from quite a few that are important. As we said, things will ramp up later on in earnings season next week and the week after the two busiest weeks. Let's have a look at a couple of charts of quarter hour today. As we've said, the ASX is down, but we are noticing that there is some buying coming into Paladin gradually over the last few days. We saw a breach of this important 79 level uh, here and the confirmation over 80. You can just see it's drifting up a little bit. There may be some resistance around about 90, but there still looks as though there's some positivity in Paladin, which obviously is in the uranium sector. On the FX front, as I said, very little that's showing now that might be of interest, but we are keeping an eye on the Euro Kiwi. You can see we've been trading in a range of around about 250 pips for the whole of October. And we've moved down to the bottom of that range. There's a rejection candle on the daily chart to take us through it. And you can see we are positive today. So if we just scale this back to the four hourly chart, you can see this in a little more detail about how important these two levels appear to be. But we'd possibly keep an eye on this if we started to move up over 173.15. Uh, we see that that would suggest that there is momentum in this bounce of 72.15. So that 100 pips is now done and th this could mean that we move up to the next level. So if we look at a 30 minute chart just to get where it's at now, uh, you can see where we are. Still a little bit of work to do to move up to there, possibly 50 pips. So there could be a short term scalping opportunity, perhaps uh, above 172.76 of around about 30 pips. And that's what's catching our eye today. Anyway, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.